Hello, and we are going to be looking at, well, some quick little tips, tricks, and some other small things of that for the new logging thing for SnowRunner. And, well, these can also be applied to MudRunner, too. Tip number one. Use your favorite trucks. Tip number two. As you can see here, I have a truck at one of the logging stations. It's in Michigan. I just thought this would be easiest to do. And I've already done the thing here. And it's what I did here before. So, as you can see, simple truck. If you're using any kind of crane for anything like that, just put a crane truck wherever the log station is. Now, this is really only a tip if you're not just straight putting them onto the truck like you can. Or, well, if you're doing a loading platform like I usually do because I find it more fun, just put a crane truck there. It does not matter what truck you use. Just put a crane on it, drive it out here, plop it down, ta-da. You got a nice little crane truck. Tip number, what is this, three? Yeah, three. three. Set up checkpoints wherever you're going, doing logging. This you can pretty much do in the base game, which I usually don't, but this is just something nice. You don't really have to scramble to go to a fuel station. Just find a spot, like here. This is actually for because of one of the logging missions. This is actually a good spot to put it. At least I found. Put it somewhere in the middle, somewhere, somewhere like that. Now, I carry this like this. I suggest you do something similar. Use whatever truck. Again, it doesn't matter. I just use the inter this international because I thought, why not? It's fun. And if you can't want to see, I have used this. <laughs> I have used this checkpoint a few times. Not a lot, but a little bit. But that is a very, very good thing you should do. Honestly, you did this a lot in the original Mud Runner. Tip number four. The bitch of medium logs. Now, medium logs are very annoying since you can only really use a cart trailer to use them. But these are some of the, well, two trucks I found to be the best to pretty much use the, well, medium logs with. Now, this is more of a personal choice. The A and K actually works really well as well. But now, these two trucks I personally choose for the better use of the medium log trucks is they're really good at turning. <laughs> Both these trucks are really, really good at turning. F750 more because you can carry everything with you and just it actually works even with medium logs obviously the logs in general are just heavy but medium logs whatever this thing does a pretty decent job shift kodiak you can use pretty much just if you don't like ford or if you just want to use something different which i don't blame you if you just want to use something different go for it again it's really good at turning now only problem can't really carry as much as the f750 can but it is more powerful and, well, it is also actually higher off the ground if it, well, that, this one is because I don't have the Cosmic Tune, the thing on that one because I just, I just don't have it on that one because I'm lazy. And the other truck in the, and the only really, tr well, heavy duty equipment that can even carry medium longs by itself, the Caterpillar. Well, the Caterpillar, whatever the heck it's called, but I'm too lazy to say it because we, but this is the only actual vehicle that I have been able to find that's the American side. I haven't really looked at the Russian vehicles. I don't care about Russian vehicles. That's another thing. I don't really care about Russian vehicles. I generally use American because I'm lazy and I like American vehicles. Deal. But that's also personal. But anyway. This is also the only vehicle that can really carry medium logs by itself. I already said that. Obviously, I have a problem with it is I suck at turning with this. But it is a very, very good vehicle. Especially off-road. Because look at the tires. It goes off all the drive. And diff luck. So, medium logs. These are pretty good three trucks that I recommend using. Granted, again, tip number one. Use what you like. So, tip number five. Which you can probably imagine is long logs. Now, long logs, since they're being very, very heavy and, well, long, can be kind of annoying. Especially just being annoying because of just, well, heavy. <laughs> but, with that being, believe it or not, the Fleet Star is actually fairly decent at it. Now, it's a very light truck, and what the problem is with its two drive axles being kind of pushed up pretty far, it can kind of lift up in the front a little bit, or a lot, it does it a lot, but... Generally with the logs, I haven't had that much problem, and it's a really good truck, also just because it's shorter, and, well, since she's shorter, she can turn more, and she does, and it comes in handy. Now, the Western Star is honestly the middle of the road of both these two trucks. It's longer, 
I believe it actually has the same amount of power that truck has, but it's also heavier, and uh, with it being longer, it doesn't actually tip much, tip as much in the front, and it's actually easier to drive. She doesn't turn as well, but she's, well, debatable with both the International, the Fleet Star and the White Star. They both turn pretty well, and again, this is all on American trucks and personal, of trucks I like to use and I found to be useful. There's that, but, and anyway, on to the next one, which is probably pretty obvious why it's over here. It's pretty much over here, pretty much simply because of mud tires. Other than that, it's pretty comparable to the Western Star. They're the white Western Star, whatever you want to call it. It's both, it's made by a white motor company. They still are. But anyway, this truck's pretty good just because of the straight up mud tires. That's pretty much it. Problem with it, she does tip a bit, but she kind of always has tipped. Pretty much because it's only single axled and well, Single axle doesn't always work very well. But that is what I think about medium logs and such. Now, just for a simple crane truck, which I'm also just going to say quick, say here very quickly, for a crane truck, it doesn't matter what you use. Use whatever. Use, use whatever crane truck you're going to use. It just works. Crane trucks don't matter to me. I don't really see any reason why any other crane truck wouldn't work. So for that, crane truck, use whatever you want. You want to be an absolute unit and just move everything at once, these two trucks are pretty much your only bet. <laughs> Especially with a crane. Since they both carry cranes by themselves and can carry long logs with them as well, it's pretty easy to say why these trucks and why I say they're pretty much both absolutely units of trucks. Problem being, they can both be a little bit underpowered, especially going up hills, so you gotta be problems with that. They both have mud tires. Except the newer truck. Obviously this is a P12, which you should know. Now this is the new one, the new truck, the International Paystar, the new Paystar is what I should say. This thing is just, it's amazing. Both problems with both the trucks, they're freaking long and don't turn, but that's pretty much the majority of the trucks in the game that are just long in general and are have super heavy duty. That truck's actually more heavy duty because it actually has a double frame on it, which is really cool. <laughs> which is a custom order thing you can do with Pacific, but anyway. Now with this International, obviously bang. Yeah, a lot of, uh, uh, well, yeah, they, they both just work. They're both absolute units of trucks and are just really good crane trucks. They, they do what you want. These two trucks, if you're stuck in somewhere or need something moved, or if you lost a load even, even if you just lost a load, these two trucks are really, really good to, well, help recover a load if you don't want to delete a trailer or do all that. These two trucks are really good recovery trucks. This one does not tip over as bad as you might think. <laughs> it's also why I don't have the um, race suspension installed on it. It just it works better, especially like this. Granted, the race suspension is a little bit better off road, not a lot, but hey, it is. This is. It's just, it's just, I love this truck. It's awesome. <laughs> this truck is awesome. But now to the final tip. Now for the last and final tip, this is actually a pretty simple one. Go in numbers if you're. This is more if you're going into a risky spot. This is pretty much just a good thing to do in-game whenever you're doing something stupid or risky, which is more just a risky thing I'm more inclined to say because I do a lot of stupid stuff in the game that I know is stupid and I don't care. But, but especially if you're carrying any kind of truck with any kind of logs on it and if you think you're going into a very risky spot, I would say carry just, well, have a crane with a... Just have a truck with a crane on it, and when you're pulling, in, and have it in the front, so it can help pull the other truck, since the other truck will probably under more weight than the front of the truck in the front, with just the crane on it. This is just also in case if you, if uh, the truck in the back decides to whoop, tip over all of a sudden, or the load comes unpacked, which has happened a lot in the old mud runner, and kind of happened, and just happened to me a, a few times here in, uh, in the, uh, in snow runner, has happened to Lot has happened a few times. This is just a good idea to do in general, <laughs> and it's better to generally use a smaller truck to do this with, mostly just because the longer your logs and the longer your train is, the more likely something is going to go wrong. <laughs> this is just some f what I think and what I have experienced and what I've seen has worked very well. If you find something that works better for you, you do those. Do that instead. Always say, tip number one, use your favorite trucks. Always say that, always well. 
I'm always an advocate of that. Use your favorite trucks over anything else. But these are just one of the trucks I found that are American. Work the best for what they do. And I'm surprised about the F-751. Trust me, I am. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share video, blah, 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 that bullshit. Anyway, yeah, he's asleep too, so bye.